Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So yeah, before we get into this, just a quick um, brief of what we do. So yeah, if you're new, welcome as well and yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe, help us on the journey to 3,000 subscribers. Yeah, um, yeah, see if we can try and get that before um, June because that would be amazing but yeah, enough of that. Yeah, so what we do in this series is um, you guys send me solar systems like with a link so I can download it and then put it in my game and then... Yeah, I, I check them out and see what it looks like and stuff. And yeah, then post a video and then you guys get to all see it. So yeah, that's pretty much the brief overview. And just before we begin as well, guys, just a, um, like I say every episode now, um, please can only one person post one comment per video. So I don't want the same person posting like 10 ideas because I have had it before and it really spams the comments up. So yeah, please, if you want to post a solar system, please only post one. I just want one per person just so it keeps things nice and easy. So yeah, with that, with that all out the way, let's begin. So today we're checking out a system by, let's see here, it's really hard to say this name. It's Nightmare Foxy Zigeek. So yeah, we got, um, that is a system of him today, so I will leave a link to his thing in the description, his channel in the description. So yeah, let's do this. So his system is called, it's, right, let's, um, it's called 12 Mass, so let's search this up. Right, so it's this, this object, oh, the, um, not this object, this simulation here. So let's see what we've got here. So it's gone orbit mode. So we've got a binary system. Okay, a lot of people are doing binary systems um, recently. So you've got a binary system here. So let's see here. So here is our center star. So a very, very dim object we have right here. So looking like a brown dwarf almost. A red, red brown dwarf. It's quite low in temperature. We'll compare it to Proxima Centauri today because the sun, definitely the sun is way too big. It must be. So... Let's just have a little look here. Or maybe it's just a bigger object. Actually, no, no, no. This does look like it's big enough yeah, compared to the sun. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, it is, it is a, just a different color. It's not really that dim. And I don't know it is as well. Yeah, the luminosity is a 0 0.9 sun. So actually, this is very close to the sun. It's just the color of it is a more orange color instead of the sun's normal yellowy white color. So yeah, there's that. And then it's a little less in mass as well. As you can see, it's almost one sun. So it's... But this thing is basically just a sun with a little less mass and radius and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, the radius is also bigger on the sun. So, yeah, there's that. Let's actually compare it to Proxima anyway. So, yeah, very big to Proxima, compared to Proxima. And let's get Jupiter, for example. Very, very big compared to them. So, yeah, there is our central star. Let's use the, check the Hathable zone as well. So, just see how far out that stretches. So, there it is there. All right. So, there is 12 mass 195 plus 123. So, there's our center star it's probably the main body in this whole system so there's that so first up of the planets we've got one literally just called one okay that's nice and easy to pronounce no no pronunciation problems today then that's good so going with a blue and white theme color theme here very similar to um earth in radius but a little bigger it's about 2,000 kilometers bigger it looks like yeah there's earth so yeah there is that um temperature 47 degrees so if this had an atmosphere and had some water on it we could live here we could live here maybe uh, 86 Earth similarity. Yeah, just sadly it has no water. If it had water in an atmosphere, this could probably be a place for life. So, yeah, that is that. So there's number one. All right, next up, number two. Let's see what we got here. So another rocky planet, very similar in size and radius to the previous one, but a little hotter than the last one. So as you can see, this one um, doesn't reflect any light whatsoever. So yeah, it's obviously going to be a little hotter here. Uh, let's just compare it to the last one. So the last one reflects 45% of the light and then this one in your flex or doesn't reflect any light so yeah this one is the hottest planet it looks like um and then similar composition and stuff to the other one and yeah there's that so if this had a bit of albedo in an atmosphere probably could live there as well with a bit of um, water as well so yeah there's number two all right then we've got number three. Oh, and now this is a colonized object very very hot here though Ooh, this is definitely one place if you want to get some sunburn or a tan or whatever like look at this 90 degrees Oh, yeah, so there is that. So this is like an ocean world, as you can clearly see. So 90 degrees, very similar to Earth in um, stats here. As you can see, it's a um, little smaller than Earth, but it has a little more mass, it looks like. So, yeah, Earth is slightly bigger, as you can see there. And it's, this has a little more mass, but the radius is smaller. Okay, that's cool. Um, colors are looking quite interesting here. So it's like a, it looked like a desert sort of island sort of look to it quite a barren sort of landscape but it would make sense since it is 90 degrees most trees probably won't be able to survive very well in that especially with the lack of um water i'm guessing in the soil because it may be covered in water this object actually let's pause it but i'm guessing the soil here since it's very hot here the soil or the dirt or mud however you want to call it, it could be quite dry if there's no water nearby so 
yeah, the highest points of this oblet, so the highest elevation here, this this would be very, very probably quite a very, very dry area, like a desert almost. So, yeah, that is that. So, okay, let's also check here. So, only reflects 1% light. Yeah, if this reflected a little more, it'd be a lot more um, human friendly, I guess. <laughs> yeah, 90 degrees. Definitely not somewhere I'd, I would want to step foot, <laughs> that's for sure. Too hot for me. So, yeah, there's its composition as well. Earth similarity. 81 but no life likelihood at all so it's just too hot i'd say so yeah there is that object so there's number three so let's see what we've got next number four okay there's number four okay so let's go to it minus 20 degrees okay this is the first of the colder objects now and that color scheme that's looking very interesting actually it's a very unique color scheme it's got like a, a light violet sort of purple and oh, that's blue actually almost looks like a um, lavender sort of purple color so we've got like a um light blue here mixed with like a sand colored orange and then we've got like a very very light green for the high elevation so there is number four also um, larger than earth in mass and radius as well yeah, like it's a little colder here made of a lot of iron has some earth similarity 77 and no life here at all either okay so there is that one uh, number five let's see what we've got here so another um rocky object this one's the smallest we've seen so far it looks like but it does if we go on um realistic mode that had city lights on it so here we go, another um, one of you guys' solar systems with a planet with city light. So, looking good. And remember, these are really easy to find. Now, if you want to get these um, planets with city lights, all you need to do is go to the, um, let's see here, here, the ultimate engineered solar system. Because this solar system has 400 rocky planets in it. And there's it's usually full of planets that have city lights. So if you guys want city lights on your planet, just go to that system there. And it's, it's really easy to find them. So... Yeah, um, and um, I've shown it in some videos as well. There was like loads of them in just one simulation, so it's pretty cool. So if you ever want city lights, you know where to go. Yeah, so there is number five. So it has city lights. Very cold, though. As you can see, minus 25 degrees. Has some Earth similarity, 82%. Life likelihood is on zero, so I'm guessing the story behind this object is, even though there is city lights, these cities are probably in very... Um, at or specially made buildings like that have um, oxygen in them. So the surface probably isn't breathable, but... I'm guessing if there's buildings here, so if you've seen the film The Martian, um, they have like a, like a, um, basically a home on Mars. And it's quite hard to describe. Yeah, just pretend like a, a dome you can breathe in or something like that. So, you know, yeah, these would all be buildings. You wouldn't be able to step foot on the planet and survive in that temperature, especially with no atmosphere. Wouldn't be breathable. So, yeah, there's that. And no surface pressure either and stuff. So, yeah, if you want to live on this planet, you'd probably have to stay in the buildings and stuff. So, yeah, there's um, number five. Okay, so zoom out again. Right, number six. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, going back to that planet previously as well. Yeah, you definitely have to live on some sort of specially made dome or something with oxygen and plants and trees growing in it because you need that oxygen. So, yeah. So I'm guessing the people there, if it is a city and it's a colonized object, they wouldn't just be living off um, oxygen um, tanks or whatever. They'd have a sustainable oxygen system. So, yeah, <laughs> there's that anyway. So number six here. So it's a lot colder than the previous one. Doesn't reflect that much light. Um, Earth similarity. All these objects are around 60-70% Earth similarity. No life likelihood, sadly, though. So, yeah, there's that. Stats as well. Quite small as well. Looks like the size of Mars, I want to say. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, there's number six. All right, let's see what we got next. So, number seven. Still haven't seen any gas giants yet. Okay, so, yeah, there's number seven. Um, all the colours are looking good. Let's just get a um, studio mode so we can see there. So a nice blue mixed with brown as well. It's a nice combo there. It's got some white for the high elevation as well. A lot colder here than previous objects as well. It's getting colder as we get further from the star. Um, and right now we're 2.42 AU from the star. So this would probably be about the asteroid belt in our solar system, this sort of distance. I'd say just beyond the orbit of Mars. So yeah, that is that. Similar to um, Earth as well in mass and radius. Radius is a little smaller than Earth as you can see here. So there is that. Okay, so that's number seven. All right, number eight. Let's see what's next. Okay, so another rocky planet. Oh, this is the largest object we've seen so far. I can tell straight away, 11,883 radius. So this is definitely the largest. Eight masses of Earth as well. So yeah, this is a lot more deadly than the other objects for size. Very, very cold compared to the previous objects as well. It's like double, um, double the um, temperature in coldness. So yeah, a lot, a lot more cold. Um, oh, this has the lowest Earth similarity as well, 28%, 0.5. So, yeah, it's pretty much double, double the um, or double the temperature of the other one. 
but in minuses. So, yeah, a lot colder than that. Okay, so that's number eight. All right, number nine. Looks like it has a moon around it. Let's go here. Okay, here's number nine. And there's our gas giant. There you go. And it's got some rings around it as well. Very nice. Oh, left me la larger than Jupiter as well. Get a look there. Jupiter is 69,000. This is 72,000. So a little bit bigger than Jupiter, as you can see there. So it's two masses of Jupiter as well. Minus 166 degrees here. Obviously, it's not going to have a high Earth similarity since it is a gas giant. It's got a nice set of rings. And then it's got um, 9.1. Okay, I'm liking the 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. That's quite a cool way of naming things, actually. Just 0 0.1 and stuff. I'd still use letters myself, but yeah, the numbers are quite a cool way to use it. Not seen that before in anyone's systems. So there's 9.1. So just a small little asteroid moon. Quite a good view of the gas giant. Let's get a um, look of it here. So, oh, okay. That gas giant really does look different with the um, starlight. So 3 AU away. So it's still closer than what Jupiter would be to our sun. So yeah, there is that. So there's 9.1. With blue atmospheres. This is one of the um, atmosphere objects. Not many objects in here have atmospheres. So minus 115. So this is a lot warmer than the previous um, rocky planets we've seen. Okay, 9.2. Oh, very, very dark here. So this absorbs all the light it receives. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. No, it reflects 1%. So, yeah, this is a very, very dark object, as you can see here. But it isn't completely black. That looks like dark red. And, yes, it is dark red, pretty much. Um, then grey and black. So not completely dark, but it still is very, very dark. So... There's that, minus 121 degrees, and only reflects 1% of the light. So there's that one. Let's actually play this. Let's have them go around the um, planet there. So let's speed up a little bit. Oh, these objects are all wobbling around. Oh, okay. Are these two going to collide? Well, let's just have a get a look at them in case they do. So um, there we've got 9.4 here. There's a red, nice red with like a bit of a pinky sort of color here. So a nice red rocky planet. So this would be like little Sedna sort of this system. Closest thing to Sedna would be this. Yeah, so um, minus 122 degrees. Doesn't reflect a lot of light either. Earth similarity is at 57. Okay, that's not too bad. And there, there's its radius and mass there. So there's that. Then we've got 9.5. Okay, this is the largest moon we've seen out of all the ones so far. This is actually larger than some of the planets as well we've seen previously. So that's actually that's actually the second largest object. Oh no, the third largest object in the whole system, I think. Let's actually just get a quick look of everything there. Okay, so okay, that gas chunk we've not seen yet. So yeah, it is, yeah. So it is the fourth largest. So, okay. So fourth largest. Well, I know I did spoil that gas giant at the end, but it's pretty obvious it's going to be something large since it is in a binary orbit with the star. So hopefully no one gets um, upset of me spoiling it. I guess it's not on it yet. And then um, 9.3 as well. This is the red and all that red and black. Okay, so this would definitely be like a volcanic sort of looking object. So yeah, there's that. So it's quite small as well. As you can see, very cold. Reflects a lot of light. And then there's its composition, 28% Earth similarity. So there's um, that one. So then we've done 9.4 and 9.5. So let's actually see if these two collide. And this is a frozen ice ball like Europa. So it's definitely a lot bigger than Europa. But let's see. Are these two actually going to collide? They're very, very dangerously close here. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, it, it actually heated that up with tidal heating. Oh, oh and that's all um, disappearing again. Wow, did that actually heat it up that much for the water to evaporate? It did. Oh, wow. Okay, so this thing was a completely frozen body. Completely frozen. When then when that red object comes along, it completely heats it up, it becomes an ocean world, and then it completely evaporates straight away. But it looks like the water is going to return. Wow, they were very, very close. And now they're in like their own little binary orbit. Are they actually going to escape the gas giant? Okay, no, it doesn't look like it, but they got so close again. Wow. Okay, but now it looks like the orbit is broken away a bit, as you can see there. And it's all freezing up again, as you can see there. So, pretty cool stuff. Definitely a dangerous planet to live on, or a moon to live on if you want to live there. Looks like some of these two here, 9.2 9 and 9.3, are getting a very close um, to colliding as well. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, this is a very, very dangerous area to be um, for collisions. Like, look at this. Oh, and they did collide. I literally just paused it, but yeah, they just collided. Yeah, there you go. So one of the moons has just popped against this larger one here. So not good. <laughs> yeah, so 9.5 has eaten up one of them. Was it 9.3? Yeah, 8 up 9.3. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, so 9.3 is gone. So it's like 9.1 and 9.2 are probably the safest objects. But now 9.3 is gone. Could make the place a little safer. But I'm still thinking 9.5 and 9.4 are going to have some trouble together. So, yeah, that's probably going to happen. Let's, um, let's actually just speed up, see if we get any collisions. Let's um, just all go around here. Yeah, they are getting... Look at the orbit of it change every time. Look at this. Once those two moons get close, it's going to continually just get worse and worse, this orbit here. So... Pretty crazy stuff, as you can see there. But yeah, this orbit's continually changing. So yeah, we'll leave it plain and we'll come back to it um, at the end. But anyways, last object is number 10. So this is a, the big gas giant we saw earlier. 
so yeah there you go so i'm getting is it got daylight here okay it does have some light so it's 6 au away so honestly this system isn't too big overall 6.5 au sort of an average sort of distance so this thing is this is probably one of the smallest systems that you guys or one of you guys has sent in so far so pretty cool nice and small little simulation just because it's small doesn't mean it's bad so um yeah 45 um reflects light well it's only probably not going to get much anyway since it is quite far um yeah the stars not very large in the sky as you can see there yeah so there is number 10 so do do that's um that's looking good and what did i just say back there <laughs> i don't know yeah so there's there's number 10 but yeah i want to keep an eye on number nine i want to see if um any collisions go on here because i'm I really I, these orbits are really unstable look at this looks like 9.1 or 9.2 and 9.5 are sharing a very close orbit now there's definitely going to be some trouble here oh and it looks like they just did collide 9.2 has hit number five as you can see there is now a crater mark on it right there we um yeah look you can see there's been an impact so wow look at that how scorched this side is look at that black mark there wow so what is it there's another crater there looks like mimus a bit it looks like a death star now look at that it looks like yeah it looks like a mimus a big mimus so yeah look at this this is not a safe place to be so let's just keep playing here the moon closest to the planet is fine but yeah these other ones aren't too good and the rings have disappeared look at that oh yes yeah, because i deleted them actually no don't worry about that yeah i deleted them but oh 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 did they just collide wait trails oh i think they did yeah 9.5 just collided with 9.4 yeah it just did look it's all molten so yeah so this object has completely killed all the other moons off so now it's literally just these two left so yeah that they're, they're, that's more of a stable orbit now since the moon closest to the planet isn't really causing much trouble since it is very small and this one's very large so it can still hold on to the planet nice and or it can still um orbit the planet nicely without anything interrupting it so yeah that's all gone now so we had a bit of drama around number nine here but yeah that is everything so that is everything for, for the 12 mass system so yeah there we go so let us know on what you thought um in the comments down below as um as usual guys see um i'm pretty sure um foxy nightmare foxy um z geek yeah i'm pretty sure he'll be interested to see um what you think of his system here um and yeah that is everything so um, let's get a quick line up everything again just have a look so there's our star and we've got a very large gas giant here let's get a quick comparison with the largest gas giant actually um so the largest gas giant is wait can i have to let me just um, end the chart mode quickly largest gas giant is this big so this thing is relatively large nothing too extreme though there's jupiter compared to it so it's pretty pretty big though obviously the biggest gas giant here by a long long shot as you can see it's about double the radius of that one then we've got all of the um moons here or what's left of them because this one has been battered with all of its fellow moons so yeah here is all the moons so yeah there we go so yeah let us know what you thought down below in the comments um um of what you thought of this system and yeah um that is everything for today's video guys so before we end off though this system is definitely the perfect candidate or candidate to get roasted because this is a very small system so that means we can put a very very deadly star in and we can roast this system straight away since these objects are so small so we are going to um slow down time we're going to hit play and all these objects are just going to vaporize <laughs> straight away wait this is happening in 20 minutes a second here and oh dear look at look at how far that smoke trail has gone look at this let me just turn off um orbits look at this smoke trail look how far away it's going into space wow look at that that trail's going for literally hundreds and hundreds of au there wow so what's left of number nine? Oh, this gas giant yeah maybe a gas giant but still not enough what's going on here wow did this gas giant or this moon actually pick up some of the gas giant's material looks like the gas giant um was losing material and that material flew into this this moon here so this moon's picked up some of the gas from the gas giant <laughs> that's pretty cool then that, that other moon is just broken apart as you can see there so 9.1 is now the um biggest one so let's just keep playing here and these objects are not going to last like you can see the mass is not holding up how about number 10 though is that holding up yeah even number 10 largest object that still cannot cannot handle it and it's falling into the star anyway but yeah there you go so that is everything for the two mass systems so like i said let us know what you thought down below in the comments i'm pretty sure um foxy nightmare foxy's a geek will be happy to um, see your opinions on it and yeah that is pretty much everything so hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video make sure you did hit that like button subscribe for more helps on the journey to 3,000 subscribers before june because that'll be awesome and yeah make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye